Jacobi equations that are uh, de derived for the diffusion control process. So here we have equation number one and two, which are uh, known as uh, Ilkovic equations. Uh, first one is uh, Herosky Ilkovic equation, and the second one is uh, given by Ilkovic, so known as Ilkovic equation. So we are going to uh, discuss uh, these two equations uh, in this lecture and how these equations are developed. Uh, and uh, also the some consideration that have been specified for the heterogeneous electron transfer uh, in diffusion control process. So here uh, we have equation number three which have been derived uh, uh, in previous lecture using uh, the considerations for the development of the corporal equation. So here we have the uh, consideration that have been uh, specified like uh, solution shouldn't be stirred, cell should be free of vibration, electrode area with respect to the solution must be small and the uh, large excess of supporting electrolyte have been used. And we have uh, five uh, specifications uh, known as uh, the electro electrode is planar with surface area A. So the distance of the redox species known as uh, oxidized form or reduced form of uh, conductive electrolyte. So here X is the linear distance from the surface area of the electrode so it's the perpendicular distance from the surface area in the x direction and uh, for second consideration was the solution is initially homogeneous so that the initial concentration of oxidized form is equal to the concentration its concentration in the bulk uh, at the surface and at the bulk both the species have same concentration whereas uh, we have uh, um, seen that the uh, Oxidized form uh, is uh, available at the surface of the electrode which is not uh, reduced to convert into reduced form. So the concentration of the reduced form uh, at the surface of electrode is zero at initial point at start uh, where time is zero. And the bulk concentrations of the oxidized and reduced form within the electrolyte solution are enough that they remain unchanged when there is any change at the surface of electrode. So with respect to this surface, uh, the bulk have constant uh, distribution of these two species. And uh, the fourth one was uh, that uh, when oxidized uh, form is consumed, a reduced form is uh, Form and the flux of the oxidized form is equal to the flux of the reduced form when the distance of uh, uh, the species are far away from the surface of electrode. So these two species have flux that is equal but in opposite direction at time t uh, but it's uh, at the surface of electrode. And the last consideration was that the electron transfer across the electrode surface is fast enough that this oxidized and reduced form are always in equilibrium at the uh, electrode surface. And the concentration ratio was given as uh, using the Nernst equation. So keeping in mind the above all consideration, uh, we have considerations, we have uh, uh, derive this equation number three in which uh, the variable psi was equal to the square root of the ratio of the diffusion coefficient of oxidized form over the diffusion coefficient of reduced form whereas theta was the ratio of the concentration of oxidized form at the surface of electrodes where x is 0 and at time t it means uh, the redox process have been taken place uh, with uh, uh, electron transfer at the electrode known as heterogeneous electron transfer. So here we have psi and theta.
whereas I is the net current and is the number of uh, electrons uh, transferred during this uh, heterogeneous electron transfer. F is Faraday's constant, A is the surface area of electron that is uh, immersed uh, in the solution. So here we have uh, the direct direction of oxidized and reduced uh, species with distance x that is uh, perpendicular from the surface area of this electrode. So here uh, at the surface we have value of x is equal to 0. And uh, we have uh, considered that the uh, uh, heterogeneous uh, transfer at the edges are ignored. And we have optimized that uh, uh, at the surface of electrode when the uh, distance is zero and the uh, applied potential is large negative, it means uh, that is uh, far uh, away from the equilibrium potential. Uh, the analyte will be uh, reduced so we have the reduced form and the ratio of the oxidized and reduced form at the surface of the electrode is small enough that uh, we can ignore uh, this theta value or uh, we can say that it's negligible so uh, we can ignore this term in the denominator and we can uh, write the equation number four uh, which is known as the diffusion controlled current why because uh, we, uh, in the e equation number three we have considered the uh, condition that the surface oxidized form have been reduced in diffusion control process so all the species present at the surface uh, that is the concentration of the oxidized form is converted to reduced form uh, with the application of large negative potential uh, which uh, undergo the uh, reduction of the analyte species and uh, other oxidized uh, uh, form of the, the species or analyte in the bulk isn't allowed to move to, towards the surface so it means that we are uh, studying the diffusion control process for this for this condition uh, we have optimized uh, the net current as diffusion controlled current in which the concentration of the oxidized form is uh, almost uh, zero so this uh, theta in the denominator is uh, negligible so we can ignore this term and uh, we can uh, rewrite the equation number three that is the equation giving the uh, quantitative relation for the net current and the uh, diffusion coefficient so this equation 3 have been modified to equation number 4 conversely we can uh, also uh, derive uh, this equation 3 and 4 for the uh, case of uh, uh, with the application of uh, positive potentials where we can replace this oxidized form with the reduced form and diffusion coefficient would be the uh, diffusion coefficient for the reduced form now let's uh, check out the ratio of the net current and diffusion controlled current and we are studying the uh, application of uh, negative applied uh, voltage which is undergoing the reduction of the analyte species uh, that is the reduction of the oxidized form into reduced form. So here we can uh, simplify the ratio of the net current over the diffusion controlled current is equal to 1 over 1 plus psi into theta and uh, the value of psi is the square root of diffusion of oxidized form over diffusion of reduced form of the electrolyte species into the concentration of oxidized form at the surface of electrode and concentration of reduced form at the surface of electrode so this ratio can be uh, described in terms of the Nernst equation so uh, that must be equal to the exponential of n f e 
माइनस ई नॉट ओवर आर टी सो हेव वी हैव मॉडिफाइड द रेशियो एज गिवन हेयर सो वी कैन सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन बाय इनवर्टिंग द रेशियोज आई डी ओवर आई इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस स्केयर रूट ऑफ डी नॉट डी आर and the ratio i t over i minus 1 should be equal to i t minus current over total current that should be equal to the expression given here now here we can again simplify this uh, equation by taking the uh, log natural of the whole equation in both sides so here the uh, log natural of exponential is uh, given as the exponential value and now uh, we can uh, simplify this equation to calculate the value of the applied potential so here i have uh, rearranged uh, this equation to calculate the value of the applied potential and uh, we get uh, two uh, terms so here first component given in this bracket is showing the half wave potential so we can write it e half and this equation is modified to e is equal to e half plus it's a kind of non equation so this equation is equation 1 which i have uh, shown uh, in the initial discussions so let's see the equation one again this equation one is known as uh, heroski lukovic equation and the plot of this equation is uh, given as here uh, which is uh, plotted uh, against uh, e minus e half versus the current ratio so here one thing is to remember that this e half uh, cannot be called as the standard electrode potential as it is uh, e half uh, is uh, representing the ratio of the two type of diffusion coefficients and is it is the this factor less than the standard electrode potential of the electrode so this e half must be less than the standard electrode potential in this diagram the uh, graph is showing the negative and uh, both positive applied uh, uh, voltages and the uh, current is showing the anodic and cathodic components it, uh, with two extremes of the applied voltages difference now let's check out the one of the application of the quadratic equation uh, that uh, is known as uh, ilkovic equation for the application of the mercury drop electrode that is uh, used in polarographic measurements mercury drop electrode also known as dropping mercury electrode and uh, it is the working electrode upon which the uh, process of uh, oxidation or reduction is observed for the analyte species and uh, this is an important electrode uh, which is uh, used in place of the solid working electrode so it have a 
channel that is the linear capillary tube and uh, a drop of mercury is developed at its uh, surface which uh, fall into the electrolyte solution and this kind of electrode is uh, used uh, for three electrode system in which we need to uh, use the uh, reference counter and uh, this one is the working electrode in this uh, electrode uh, flow of uh, mercury that passes through this uh, capillary and producing a droplet uh, at the end of this uh, capillary in a reproducible way means that uh, this drop can move up or down so each uh, of this droplet uh, grows until uh, it reaches to a specific diameter d and uh, it is released in the solution and uh, move to the bottom of the electrochemical cell and these uh, released droplets are no longer uh, in contact with this the working electrode uh, that is inside the capillary so as the electrode is uh, used mercury collects in the bottom of the cell and uh, in in this kind of measurement uh, the potential of the electrode is varied for a uh, So that the potential is nearly constant during one drop life when these uh, drops are falling uh, within this uh, solution there is a time lapse between these two uh, drops uh, so for each drop we have a specific value of uh, potentials that is applied for each successive drop measures the current at slightly different potential so here we can measure the current which have slightly different potential so drop 1 drop 2 drop 3 and drop 4 within uh, each within the time lapse of uh, these uh, mercury droplets electrode potential is uh, scanned accordingly so that for each drop the current is measured at different voltages in this kind of measurement the first correlation is uh, that uh, the volume of the this electrode is slowly expand to a maximum value and then it falls to the solution and secondly this droplet is not a uh, spherical in shape but it is uh, distortedly uh, towards the surface of this capillary wall and when this uh, droplet falls uh, within this uh, solution it is flattened so we need to uh, do two corrections first one is correction for changing electrode area and the second one is for expansion of electrode surface into solution so here the number of uh, droplets that are falling uh, within this solution is a function of uh, time so the radius of the uh, uh, electrode that is the mercury drop is a function of time then the volume is also the function of time here we can assume that the flow of the mercury within the capillary 
that is known as flow rate is proportional to the rise in the mass of droplet and we can say that the volume of the droplet is a function of time and for the spherical droplet uh, we can assume that the volume is uh, 4 pi r cube over 3 that must be equal to the flow rate of the mercury within the capillary uh, that is uh, equal to speed of flow into time over the density where speed is the uh, change in mass per unit time so that uh, we have uh, the units of uh, the both variables in terms of the uh, length cube from this uh, equation we can calculate the value of the radius of the mercury drop that is given as 3mt over 4 pi d where d is the density and uh, mt was uh, derived from the speed that is the change in mass per unit time and m is equal to u into t that is speed into time or rate of change of mass and uh, the area of a sphere can be written as 4 pi r square using the value of uh, radius from this relation we can calculate the area as 4 pi 3 mt 4 pi t into 2 over 3 power now for this particular uh, application that is the polarography in which uh, mercury drop electrode uh, is used uh, the value of area can be calculated uh, using the approximations given here so uh, now we can uh, modify this Cottrell equation that is the equation for uh, diffusion control process must be equal to an F A area is 4 pi 3m m is the mass of the drop whereas uh, t is the time of flow over 4 pi into d uh, density of mercury and a term in square root So here in this equation by using uh, different uh, constants uh, we can uh, simplify this equation as Elkov equation that is equal to 708 and T0 is in the square root concentration of oxidized form in the bulk and uh, here we have mass of the working electrode that is in power of 2 over 3 and the time is uh, 2 over 3 plus uh, 1 over 2 is 1 over 6 so this equation is known as Ilkovic equation that was given in 1934 and this is the very fundamental equation which have been used in various applications of electrochemistry in which uh, by using the all different variables we can calculate the diffusion coefficient 
and uh, uh, this diffusion coefficient uh, is really important for the calculation of other uh, variable parameters for the uh, electrolyte uh, solutions that is applicable in the solution chemistry. For example, we can use this diffusion coefficient to calculate the uh, hydrodynamic radii of uh, the ionic species using uh, uh, Stokes equation and the Stokes-Einstein equation. And uh, this diffusion coefficient is also uh, important for the understanding of uh, reaction mechanisms that are based on the electroanalytical chemistry. So uh, in this lecture we have uh, learned about uh, the Ilkovic equations that are given as equation 1 and 2. These are only for uh, the diffusion controlled uh, processes and uh, we can uh, modify this uh, equation number 1 for the anodic and cathodic reactions. So here we uh, have a numerical problem. You can solve it uh, to calculate the uh, electrode potential for uh, the given current conditions. So uh, for uh, first problem that is the uh, com compute electrode potential for uh, the current when current is equal to the half of diffusion current so for this case when i is half of uh, diffusion current then the, this ratio is equal to 1 it means that this factor is 0 for this case the electrode potential is equal to half potential so from this diagram we can see that uh, the, at this point when the uh, electrode potential is equal to half electrode potential then the difference is 0 so for this case uh, if uh, this difference is the diffusion current and uh, for half of this current here the potential must be E half for the uh, second case when the current is equal to ID over means quarter of this diffusion controlled current then the ratio will be equal to 1 over 3 and uh, the electrode potential can be calculated as for the case of uh, uh, the ratio is uh, ID over 4 this uh, must be equal to 0 3 and uh, the next condition is when current is 3 by 4 of the diffusion current then the ratio is 1 by 3 and the potential is calculated as E half minus RT log natural of 1 over 3 so fr from the this potential is for 3 by 4 and this one is 1 by 3 and this one is 3 by 4 so we can calculate the potential difference that is the potential 1 by 4 minus potential that is calculated for 3 by 4 of the diffusion current so that must be equal to RT and F log natural of 3 over 1 over 3 and uh, that must be equal to 0 0.056 over n volts so in this way we uh, you can calculate the potential difference between two different uh, net current values using the method given here